Lombard MMA Fit is a kickboxing fitness workout. Fit stands for fitness, intensity, and technique. There are four levels in Lombard MMA Fit. Level one, the comeback. Level two, the breakthrough. Level three, relentless. And level four, invincible. Level two, the breakthrough, are basic kickboxing techniques with movement, eye, hand, and foot coordination. This is a beginning level of fitness. These workouts are unique in that the goal is to help build a participant's kickboxing skills and self-defense skills while increasing their strength and fitness levels. Workouts are for all ages, abilities, and fitness levels. The goals of Lombard MMA Fit are to increase the individual's physical and mental confidence through self-defense and kickboxing techniques. These are authentic kickboxing techniques. Train hard, train safe, have fun. Welcome to Lombard MMA Fit. Have a great workout. This is the breakthrough level two, workout number one. This is Miranda, this is Ariel. We're gonna start out with a double bounce step. This is an all footwork workout. We're amping the intensity up a little bit from the level one comeback workouts. And working our boxing and kickboxing foot agility through this workout. Double bounce, you can go left foot forward, you can go side to side, you can go right foot forward. These are gonna be all good footwork drills to develop your eye foot coordination, your foot agility, overall conditioning. Again, left foot can be forward, you can go side to side, or you can go right foot forward. Keeping those hands up, so you're working at shoulder endurance as well, but you can shake them out at any time if you need to, and then get them right back up. Again, working that double bounce. Left foot forward, side to side, or right foot forward. Okay, moving into our second footwork drill. It's called a single bounce step. So your back foot's gonna stay in the same spot and your front foot's gonna go forward and back. So you see from the side, I'm going foot, extending it outward and coming back to where it's lined up with my back foot. Don't cross your feet though. So it's your double bounce. And you can switch sides. You can have your left foot forward or your right, and bring it back. This is sport specific, single bounces, bouncing that front leg out of there. Again, switching your leads, left foot forward or right foot forward. Shaking those shoulders out when you need. But again, thinking about developing your shoulder endurance. Okay, last few seconds of the single bounce step. Okay, now we're moving into toe heel. So your toe heel, footwork agility drill. This is, at one point, your foot and your heel, opposite heel will be together. And then you extend it out. This is good to loosen up those hamstrings, quads, knee joint. So toe heel. Bring that foot back, extend it out. Foot back, toe to heel, extend it out. Keeping those hands up. <clears throat> so building that leg endurance and shoulder endurance. Kicking that leg out side to side. Bouncing on the balls of your feet. Okay, next we're moving into what's called a figure eight. So it's good to stretch those hips out. Light on your feet. Just stay like in a little box. And you're just turning your hips, like you're twisting your hips. Side to side. Keep staying really tight. Get up on the balls of your feet. Twist those hips. Again, developing our eye foot coordination, our footwork agility. If you don't have very good footwork or agility, uh, your fight game will lack. 
you need good footwork, good foot and eye coordination. And figure eights. Twist those hips. Last few seconds. And now we're going into what's called a pendulum. So a pendulum footwork. You can have your left foot forward. You can be side to side with your feet. Or we're going right foot forward. And you just keep mixing it up. You blend it up. Left foot forward. Side to side. Right foot forward. Keep those hands up. Shake them out when needed. This is a sport specific footwork for kickboxing. Bringing those feet together. Left foot forward, side to side, and right foot forward. And this is called the pendulum footwork drill. Okay, now we're moving on to our next one. It's called alternates. So we're going side to side, push left. Side to side, right. So it's like a double bounce step, side to side, and a push step to your left and to your right. Hands up. A little bit more of explosive type footwork. And blending what's called a double bounce with a push step. Side to side, push left. Side to side, right. Left, side to side, right. Exploding left and right. Hands up, shake them out when you need. <clears throat> this is sport specific to the push step. Last few seconds. And now we're going into what's called one, twos, and threes. So you're bouncing side to side in ones, or you can go twos, or you can even go with some threes. But it's predominantly ones or twos. And it's like you're jumping rope, but without the rope. So hands are up, and you're just going side to side with ones, twos, or you can mix in threes. And similar to jumping rope. Ones, twos, and threes. And good for the eye foot coordination, developing that footwork agility. And if you don't have a jump rope, this is a good drill. One, twos, and threes. Hands are up or shake them out. Okay, next one called in and outs. So we're just moving our feet in and out. This is trying to develop your foot speed in and out. Forward and back. Hands are up. So you see from the side, we're just going forward and back. Just a little bit at a time. Stay light on your feet. Forwards and backs, in and outs, toe taps, foot replacement, call a number of different things. Shake those shoulders out if you need to. Building calf strength as well. Last few seconds of the toe taps. Okay, now we're going crisscrosses. So for now, your right foot will cross out in front. So right foot, hands are up, right foot out in front. Crossing your feet, crisscrossing your feet. Okay, now we're gonna go the right foot and back. And if you have to with any of these, just slow it down and just get the rhythm down. Shake those shoulders out when you need. 
Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Now we're going on what's called knee bounces. So knee bounces, three to a side. <coughs> this is good for kick speed, leg strength. Uh, it's actually a kickboxing technique called a shin up block or a check. But we're gonna go outside, 45, and inside. So outside, 45, or inside, your three different angles. Outside, 45, inside. Outside, 45, inside. <clears throat> three different angles. One, two, three, one, two, or three. Get that knee up above your waistline. Keep those hands up. So you're gonna bring your knee to your elbow. Knee to your elbow. Bouncing on the ball of your foot. Okay, and then set. Now we're doing our step and slide four count. Four back, left and right. Four back, left and right. Keep those knees bent. Light on your feet, should be a good rhythm. So one, two, three, and four. Light on your feet. This is the core footwork technique for boxing or kickboxing. Pretty much any mixed martial art, wrestling, boxing, kickboxing, anything. Four back, left and right. Advance, retreat, left and right. If my right foot was forward, Miranda and Ariel stay with left foot forward. I'm going forward, back, right, left. Forward, back, outside, inside. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Keep those knees bent. We call it staying grounded. One, two, three, and four. Okay, next one is we're going double bounce again. Double bounce. And remember, we can have left foot forward, side to side, right foot forward. Shake those shoulders out if you need. And left foot forward, you can be side to side, or your right foot will be forward. Couple inches each foot at a time. Hands are up, chins are tucked, just in your fight stance. Try to keep those hands up, build that shoulder endurance. Last few seconds. And we're going toe heel. Keep those hands up. Toe heel. Remember that toe coming back to your heel. Toe to heel. Extend that leg out. Leg will be extended out about a 30 degree angle, 45 to 30. Developing that foot agility, really valuable for any kind of combat sport. Gotta be good with your feet and your movement. Hands up, shake them out if you need to, but keep those feet moving. Last few seconds of toe heel. Okay, now we're going into figure eight. Figure eight. Move those hips side to side. Light on your feet. Twisting those hips. <clears throat> really twist those hips, stay in a box, don't be too long. It's a real tight footwork motion. This initial step you'll see a lot in boxing. It's like a crossover step, or a variation of a crossover step. A 
last few seconds of your figure eights. Again, shake those shoulders out if you need. Okay, here we go, back to alternates. Side to side, left. Side to side, right. Again, working that push step. You can feel the explode in your calves and your quads. Push, push, side to side. Bend those knees a little bit. Those knees bent. So you're really exploding. Left and right. Good, side to side, push left. Side to side, push right. Side to side, left. Side to side, right. Shake those arms out if you need to. Push step, sport specific. Push step. Push, bend those knees. Hands are up. Okay, last few seconds. And we're going to our pendulum. Left foot forward, side to side, or right foot forward. You can mix it up, but work them all. Left foot forward, side to side, right foot forward. This is sport specific technique utilized in kickboxing, not so much boxing. Shake those shoulders out when you need to. So again, we're developing your footwork, eye foot coordination. Really good for any sport, not just boxing, kickboxing. <clears throat> Left foot forward, side to side, right foot forward, mixing it up. Okay, next one is our circle. Circle left, circle right. So circle to your left, bring it back. To the right, and back. Circle left, short choppy steps, and back. Circle to your right. And short choppy steps, you're getting yourself off center line. Setting yourself up for angles, for attacks, or making sure that you're not just a sitting target for defense. Right, and back to the left. Work the other lead if you're left-handed. So my right foot's forward. Ariel Miranda will get left foot forward. Keep those hands up or shake them out. Okay, set yourself, last three minutes. <clears throat> and push hard through this and start with knee bounces. Two to a side. So when we do two to a side, you can go at either angle. You can go outside, 45, or inside. You mix it up. So I can go 45 inside, outside, 45, outside, 45, 45 inside. So you're just random, meaning you pick the different angles on each side, but you just go two to a side. Remember to keep that hip, or bring that knee up above your hip line. You don't want them short. Get that up there high. Above your hip line. Stretch those hips out. Leg strength, quad strength, calves, and your eye foot coordination. Last few seconds of doubles. Okay, now into singles. Changing the angles. A little more complicated again. Outside, 45, inside. Outside, or 45, or straight up inside. And you mix it up. So I go 45, inside, inside, outside. 45, 45, outside, inside. Just mixing it up. Singles, different angles. Okay, we're on the home stretch, about a minute and a half. Working those singles. Really testing your eye foot coordination. Singles are tough. Side to side. Changing angles. Last few seconds of singles. 
Hands up or shake them out. Okay, and then random. So you can do threes, twos, ones on either side. So if I go three, and I go one on this side, I go two, maybe two on this side. Changing up the reps, or, uh, and then the angles. So again, you're outside, 45, or inside, outside, 45, inside, but you're just going to random. Here we go, last 30 seconds. Speed up those knees if you can. Feel the burn in your calves and your quads. Cardio, footwork. Mix it up. Doubles, triples, singles. Last few seconds. Three, two, and one. Ooh, shake it out, and that was breakthrough level two, workout number one. Get your abs and push-ups in, and we'll see you for the next workout. Hello everyone, my name is Bruce Lombard, owner of Lombard MMA and creator of Lombard MMA Fit. Hope you had a great workout. Don't forget to get your push-ups in and get your ab routine in by following Lombard MMA Fit ab routine workouts on YouTube. To help increase your kickboxing technical comprehension and ability, and take your kickboxing to the next level, visit LombardMMA.com, where you can become a Lombard MMA member and have access to hundreds of instructional videos to help your basic boxing and kickboxing techniques. Thank you for training with us at Lombard MMA Fit. Leave a message in the comment section below with any questions.